What's up, guys? What's going on? Bearded Bricks. Back again with another monstrous review. This thing is huge. It's it's a lot of pieces. So when we built it, we didn't stick it together like we did the first night. No, which we didn't. Yeah, we did. I think we stuck these two buildings together the first night. Because we ended up building these, and then the next week we built these on stream. Uh, this is the first time that we've actually seen this together, though. Yeah, and it's huge. There's a, there's a lot of little things that we knew about it, but not how big it was. <laughs> I mean, we knew it, but we didn't know it. Yeah. We knew it was big. We didn't pay attention to it. Yeah, we didn't realize it was that big. We snapped it together and was like, eh, but it's big. It's one of our sets. It's big. That is true. Uh, there's another way you can also display this. So, actually, in between each building, one peg is on each side. Actually, this building has pegs on both sides, uh, which it probably come out of one building. But they all kind of click together, and they also let you store it or display it, I guess. Back to back. Where you can do it back to back. Mine, on this half, nothing really special happens. But on this half, what happens, Mark? Nocturne Alley runs into uh, the Daily Prophet. Exactly. Yeah. It's a cool little feature. Cool little add-on. Yeah. I haven't snapped mine together. There it goes. Uh, and, and it's kind of amazing, too. We were talking about this right before. Is when you go to snapping this stuff together, with this much weight, these pe these pegs don't hold hardly anything. And I just noticed that snapping these together backwards, the roof lines yes. all match. So, roof lines all line up, which is really nice. Yeah. That's neat. So, if you see it. I done knocked your chair over. I mean, threw the chair out. I don't know. So it's a little more small and compact to display yeah. it. I guess you could display if you if you needed room your two favorite buildings or four favorite buildings out front. Yep. Yeah. Your two favorite sections. Other than that, this is nice. This is probably how we'll end up displaying this, don't you think? Or do we have the space to stretch it out? I don't know. <laughs> it depends on if it's going to be in the scene or not, because we still have a. Uh, uh, a big Millennium Falcon to display up there. <laughs> Very true. The first shops that have you build is actually Ollivander's Wand Shop and Scribulus. Um, Ollivander's Wand Shop is kind of one of the biggest stores in the entire movie. I mean, yeah, it's, it's where you go get your... Where Harry gets the wand. Yeah. Um, I was about to go somewhere else with that. <laughs> where you go get your bibbidi-boppidi-boop. You bibbidi-boppidi-boop at home. <laughs> um... It has a lot of features in this one. One of the cool things, starting with uh, Ollivander's Wand Shop, it does have a lot of cool features. One being the ladder that swivels out for the play purposes. All the doors can open. Um, it does have lanterns and nice stuff inside. When you build the set, you'll realize there is a ton of wands that you put in wand boxes and kind of just stick all over the shop that are all accessible if you wanted to play a scene out or anything that has to do with you coming in and finding a wand. Um, upstairs, it does have his little room that he can go in. It has a nice desk in it. Down below, you do see the cash register. Over here in Scribulus, it's kind of the same thing. You see, pick out the quill and the ink pot that you would use. Um, there's a couple little features, like it has a book that's displayed out front in the front window that shows some writing on it. Um, it does have a couch upstairs with a... Skull. The skull is really cool. They did a new a new piece for this set. It looks really cool. You could do a bunch of different things with that skull and a bunch of different mocks that you would like to create. This building, in my opinion, is one of the best ones in the in the window area. All the windows look really great on it. The the new objective they have with the folding the two by twos and the one by twos and coming up with the the windows sitting on the thumpers to make it look round was an extremely good idea it's a much much updated version of the older options and here in this uh, or this building is the quality quidditch supplies and the daily profit uh on the front this is kind of interesting how they've done this this piece is built and is uh resting or like built with technic and then kind of sat down to give it a slope um it was kind of interesting building it because i wasn't quite sure where it was going with it and then when it got assembled and put together it looks really nice um 
the Daily Prophet. There's nothing really too special about it. Door opens. Uh, some stickers on front. Showing the flags. In the back, there's a lot less clutter in this building than the first one. Uh, there's a Nimbus 2000 sitting down here in the window. Uh, you can see where the robes are right through here. And then up here is also some more uh, Quidditch brooms on display. Uh, up here, these are newspapers that are stacked up right here. Also, there's some right here on top. And there's some other newspapers down here in this little box that will fall out if you're not careful. Uh, nice building. The best part about it is probably the front, in all honesty. Like, that's it's pretty interesting how they built that, so it didn't look so blocky. Next up is the building with Flourish and Blots and uh, the Florines Portescue's ice cream parlor. The ice cream parlor is pretty neat. It does have out in front these white chairs. The chairs don't actually connect to anything, so they can just fall over everywhere. They they just kind of sit around. Once they hit a stud, they fall. They're on tiles, but they're not very sturdy. I do like how on the roof it does have the two chairs and the table with the ice cream in it. This was a scene off of the Chamber of Secrets. It wasn't really a big scene. It did have a cool uh, little thing when it, they went in it. It does say in the inside the ice creams that was in there, one of them being bat juice and earwig. Um, one of them is chocolate and peanut butter, so it's very, very different. And Flourish and Blots, it's a much bigger, much nicer building in my opinion. It does have the books outside that are mounted. They do not fall out. They are actually connected. This took a big scene in the movie when Gilderoy Lockhart was in there signing books and Harry goes in there. He finds Dobie with Lucius Malfoy and Draco and he sees the the scene play out and you find out who Dobie is and where he came from. It's kind of a big scene in Harry Potter in general. When you turn the buildings around, Flourish and Blots does have all the books, all the everything on display. It does come with a desk that you could take out and sit down for signing. It the scene does come with a Gilderoy Lockhart, so you can set him up if you wanted to play that scene out. It also does have a staircase. The staircase folds down so you can walk upstairs. Upstairs is the same thing. It's just a little more books stacked around. The ice cream parlor does have the black and white checkered floor that an ice cream parlor back in the mid you know times would it does have a little recliner upstairs that moves and a little chilling spot other than that there's nothing much to it all right and here we have the weasley's wizard wheezes and also the entrance entrance to nocturne alley uh they also did the other technic piece where this window is sitting on a hinge and just kind of just slides right over Looks pretty cool right here. You know, it gives it that, uh, hey, don't go here look. <laughs> you know, this is the black market. This is where you go buy the unregistered stuff. You know, that, that knockoff, uh, that knockoff wand or whatever. They ain't got no numbers on it. <laughs> it's been filed off. <laughs> the non-serial numbered ones. Yeah, the non-serial <laughs> numbered ones. Uh and then beside of it, which is the reason the uh, this is only one building on this base plate, is because of that alley. And this store t is a little bit bigger than the rest of them. Uh, his hat does come off and move. There's a little lever up here on the very top that's pretty concealed very well. Uh, he goes all the way through the windows. You can see all the way down. And you can also see from the inside... He kind of shows up through the inside a little bit. Uh, all right, so inside here, up top, you just have a, you know, like an attic up here. There is a geode in here that looks really cool. Um, the banisters for the stair rail are very colorful, very nice. They're just not very sturdy. Uh, they did not include them on the first set of stairs, which is kind of interesting, but I feel like it's more of if you're going to put something in, you're going to knock something over. And then you just be rebuilding it the whole time. Um, and it might start to look a little cluttered if you're trying to put something on the stairs. Uh, there's also a box of Dancing Doxy under the stairs uh, that's not sold at this store, but they do have it in there. So it's a little nice little Easter egg. 
Uh, this little shelf down here has got Minecraft heads on it, which look pretty cool sitting there. And they do have, they also have the Love Potion Fountain that is kind of built separately, set separately. There's room to put it in here uh, if you go to store it back to back and can close it off. Um, other than that, it would be way too cluttered to put it in here. There's no actual room for it to fit permanently. Uh, there are some stickers on the sides over here that are from the Orlando Wizarding World. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's a cool little touch. Uh, since neither one of us have been, that's something we didn't know until we started you know, researching it for uh, the review. This set does come with 15 minifigures. Um, start off with the first three is the Ron, Harry, and Hermione. They all have on the same shirts. They're they're all the same torsos. So they do all have separate heads. Everybody has a separate head on the back that kind of does, you know, Ron. Ron was always scared, so it kind of shows the frightened face. Harry does have the face where he's got the little ash and dust all over him where he goes down into the chimney during Diagon Alley. And then, of course, he has his happy face with his glasses. Harmony does have her normal kind of smirk face. And then she has her nervous, scared face also. Two of the other mini figures it does come with is Jeannie and Draco. Um, they're the other two students in this. Draco does come with a, a angry face. And the, the little smirk face, you know, he's always through the movie trying to trying to piss everybody off, it seems like. Jenny also comes with her smirk face and a scared face. She uh, comes with the book from Gilderoy Lockhart, which she's hoping to get signed. It also does come with Fred and George, the two twins. The only way to tell the difference between them in these Lego sets, because they actually have the both of the same heads is the shirts. One of them shirts purple, one of them's orange. They both have W's on them. Another character is Molly Weasley. She also comes double sided and is with a dress. You could display her in the, the Weasley's place with Fred and George. Another character is Lucius. I'm glad it did come with Lucius Malfoy. That is, in my opinion, my favorite character out of this set. Unlike the rest, does not come with a back head. He only has the front face. It does come with Fortescue from the ice cream parlor. He does come with an ice cream scoop and some ice cream. He is also double sided. And it also comes with Mr. Ollivander. Ollivander can also be put in the wand shop. He plays a major part in one of the, you know, the first movie. If it wouldn't been for him, Harry would have never got the wand. Another really cool minifigure in this is Lockhart himself. He does come with the book. He does come with his cape. He does have the smart aleck look on his face. He is also double-sided. He has the, the look of, you could tell he knows what's going on, but he's not saying anything. Look to him. Last but not least, it does have the guy from Daily Prophet, the photographer. He is also double-sided. Um, he's a minifigure that I would just set out front. I wouldn't do much with him. He, you know, didn't really do much in the movie other than take pictures. Next, while building the set, we did realize that it had a box that said 21 on it, and it was step 21. It did say silencio to keep silent. We weren't supposed to tell anything, but here's the spoiler alert. This is what was inside of it. It came with a Harry and Hagrid. The Hagrid and Harry in this minifigure is before Harry really knew what a wizard was. It was when they first got to Diagon Alley, and Hagrid is showing Harry all the experiences of being a wizard. Overall, though, this is a this is a big set. It was fun to build. It was our first modular build. We haven't built. I haven't built any buildings yet. No. Yeah, was, you have. You built two. I've built two. I'm talking about before now. Um. When you build this set, it's kind of hard. I will include some pictures in this uh, review. They do have a lot of little things that are cool, like the Quidditch um, store does have a, a mat in it that says QQS. The little tables everywhere that have notes wrote on them. The store has a sign inside that says, feel free to test fly any of our brooms. You can just hop in, test fly a broom if you mm -hmm. don't like it. 
back out. I mean, you got some some ice cream options on the walls. There's tons of stickers in this set. Can you Carvana a broom? That way. Maybe. Order it online. Yeah, order it online. Get it shipped <laughs> to your door. If you don't like it? Send it back. <laughs> Um, in each in each room, there there's so many little details. Like the brooms, there's something different on every single one of them to make it different. The books, they're stacked a little different. They're a little wider. They're a little thicker. They they make everything a little different on each one of these sections in each one of these rooms. Yeah, there's there's tons of very small details that we probably missed a lot of. In and all honesty, really cool furniture pieces. And when I emphasize furniture, I mean like cash registers. I didn't say a cash register was the furniture. I said what it sits on is furniture. We'll edit that from the live stream into this. Yeah. Overall, though, fun set. What does a cash register sit on? A it desk. normally sits on a desk. What is a desk? It's furniture. What did you call a desk? A desk was a piece of furniture. But what did you say? You said, I'm building my first piece of furniture. You heard what you my heard. cash register. Yeah, but I was saying it's sitting on it. Do we need to pause this so no. we can... Hey. No. We got the table. We can make it happen, bro. What? You're going to go through it? You're going to go through no. it. No. Hey, Try again. Got the mic right here. Backup mic. Other than that... <laughs> Stupid. Really fun <laughs> set to build. Yeah. It's... It's, it's huge. It was very detailed. There's so much to it. Yeah, and it, I mean, this set took us quite a while. Like, we were both building, and it took us probably a total of nine hours to build two buildings each. So, you figure there's probably... This is your wand. Oh, I got a wand? I already know which one's mine, because mine's obviously the best. Yeah, which one's yours? This one. What is it? What's in it? Oh, it's brown. Mine's tan. Exactly. Mine's better. You know how you know? Just because I know. Tan wands matter. <laughs> um, I think if, if one person... I mean, I know you can build it quickly. But to kind of, you know, go through it like we did at a not super fast pace. You I need mean, to take your time. That way you enjoy <laughs> the little things that are put into this. Right. And I mean, this is probably a total of 20 hours. Like, this was a... This is a big build. It took both of us nine hours I just together. Said that. You didn't say the actual time. Yes, I did. Did you? Yes. Oh. You're not listening to me. You're playing with wands over there. I wasn't. <laughs> why are you why are you wobbling my building, man? An earthquake. It's holding up. My two buildings are sturdy. Look at yours. Oh, well look at this one. Look at you. I don't know what you got going on I right here either. in the middle. <laughs> You That's got something weird. going on. You got a little wobble building. Try it again. Yeah. That's because there's a lot of weight up here, I think. Yeah. I'll, I'll blame the builder. But whatever. My building is solid. Good. But thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Come back and see us next.